Here I have a TV and it has a purplish hue to it. And no matter what I do, it doesn't uh, go away. So I try to resetting the TV, unplugging it, plugging it back in. It's, nothing was working. So I had to open it up to see what the problem was. I used a, a, a spoon to pry it out off the back and then I could have a look at this is the power supply board so there wouldn't be anything issue with that here's the main board as well that would be for your HDMI and then this is the panel so it could be a bad panel or a TCOM board or or some uh, the bad back lights so it's probably not the main board because uh, I was seeing the picture it could be uh, to do with the bad connection with the TCOM board because that does the horizontal uh, lines as well and, but I disconnected it and I still have the color. So that means that it's not a bad TCOM board. It is definitely bad backlights uh, because over time they degrade and then the frequency of the color, instead of being white, it will be uh, a bluish color. And then it looks a little bit purple or blue on your screen. And so I'll have to be removing all the things so that I can have a look at the backlights there. This is the very first time I actually saw a TV like this. Usually they don't turn blue, usually they, they actually break and then you just have a black screen. So if you're having a purple screen or a black screen, this will be the fix. You have to replace the backlights in the back. So I disconnected all the connections um, there and then I'm just using a screwdriver here that we can remove the bezels. There's a couple plastic bezels that are on the screen that we need to remove so that uh, we can access the LEDs at the back. Just prying it off gently and we can take the front bezel off and then we will flip up the little ribbon cables that connect to the LCD and I, I like to tape them with electrical tape. Electrical tape is good because it's not too sticky and then it'll just make sure that those ribbon cables that connect to the LCD panel are can move when we remove the screen. So I have some suction cups that I got from Canadian Tire and they work well for removing the screen. Don't use your hands. The suction cups are needed uh, because the screen is very delicate. I'm just pulling up gently and you can get that off there. I'm putting it on a soft surface. Basically, I just have a couple of blankets. You could also do this on a carpet on the floor. I've done that, but I like to have it off the ground so I don't always have to be bending over. There's another plastic bezel that just has little clips. And then you want to tape together the filter papers so that you know the correct order. and then we'll take off the filter papers. With the filter papers off, we can see all the backlights. I'm using an LED tester to, to verify. Yeah, the LEDs do turn on, but you can see they are a bluish color. And that's because they have reached the end of its lifetime. And if too much current goes through them, they can also change that color. So you can actually fix the issue too by decreasing the brightness of your TV. So I'm going to have to be replacing all of them because they're all blue. And so I've already started the first three row, uh, on that bottom row and it has been working. So I'm going to be doing that. There's these little uh, spacers that you need to remove. And then we have to remove the white paper, the reflective paper, so that we can access the LEDs. So it's a little bit and so what I do is I just replace the broken LEDs and to do that I just break off the old LED just like this. Now I have a new uh, better LEDs. These are 2 watt 3 volt LEDs but the pads aren't as big so I have to use a razor blade to scrape off a little bit so that we can put some liquid solder on the pads and then we will be heating uh, it up and then we can attach the LED. So making sure that it's the correct orientation. There's a little symbol of a diode on the strip too to give you the plus and minus. And if you put it on the wrong way, you'll, when you connect it, it will just won't turn on. But you can see there it was turning on 
and then you can use shoe glue to glue the filter back on like that. And we just have to do that 50 more times. This is a 49 inch TV, it has 58 LEDs. If you have a 72 or a 70 inch TV, you probably have hundreds of LEDs, so it would be a lot more. But after I have replaced them, you can see, wow, the color looks a lot better. It's like an original TV there. And if I look at the white, the white is indeed white, not purple. To save this from happening again, go into your energy saving mode and put it to medium. Do not leave it as off because this is the reason why the TV has uh, malfunctioned and uh, you can see the brightness has become a little bit dimmer. So I've done that on this TV. If your TV hasn't, if it's on the off mode, change it to the you know, medium is, is okay or maximum if you really want to have it last a long time. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.